What's going on MCU fans, Ryan O'Toole back here again, giving you guys another ranking. If you guys are new here, feel free to click that subscribe button and that bell notification icon for more reviews, reactions, rankings, and more movie content. To add on to my end of the year ranking videos, now that Hawkeye just concluded its six episode run on Disney+, Plus, I figured it would be fun to rank all five of the MCU Disney Plus shows that came out this year from worst to best. If you haven't checked out on my channel most recently, I ranked all 27 of the movies most recently. You can go check that out if you haven't yet. I had a lot of fun making that video. And now here, Marvel has made nine plus projects total this year, including five Disney plus series, and I'm ranking those today. And I do have to say, I liked all five of these series, even though I didn't completely love a few they're all of them were great so let me know down below in the comments guys what your ranking would be for all of the mcu disney plus shows this year we're gonna have different lists this is my list respect that going in and know that and know we're gonna have disagreements let's have polite respectful conversations below guys i'm ready to get right into this guys let's get going with the list probably going to make some people mad with my number five placement but it's going to be hawkeye the most recent mcu show and i have a lot of reasons why as i said in my review this was probably one of my most least anticipated shows this year even though i don't fully love hawkeye as a character i think the show did a good job of bringing closure to his character if this is the final time we're going to see jeremy renner as hawkeye i think they did a good job of explaining his bad past as the ronin character and it introduced a great new character with kate bishop i thought Haley steinfeld was definitely the best part of the show but what's wrong with hawkeye i think the villain aspects weren't explored properly and a lot of the storylines really weren't fleshed out well. If they made the show nine episodes, I think it would have been better. I just didn't really care about the Jack Swordsman and Vera Farmiga, the mother Eleanor, their storylines I didn't care about. And obviously spoilers for every single one of these shows, just so you guys know. Kingpin getting brought into here was obviously heavily rumored and I love seeing Vincent D'Onofrio back as Kingpin. His ending was kind of questionable. I hope they bring him back. I hope he's not dead. I wish they explored more storylines and made it longer. Then I would have enjoyed it more. Under the question, what if? The What If series. Now, this was definitely my least anticipated of the shows announced because it's bringing in animation into the MCU seems really random. But after watching the What If episodes, they got progressively better. And I think Jeffrey Wright as the Watcher, really great casting. I love Jeffrey Wright's voice as the Watcher and seeing him get involved towards the finale was really great. Episode four, the Doctor Strange episode was my favorite episode by far. And I really hope they bring him back in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, which we saw in that trailer. Episode five, the zombies episode was freaking awesome and intense. Episode 3, what if the Avengers all died? Like, they explored some dark storylines in this What If series, and I really loved those episodes. However, there were episodes I didn't like at all, the Party Thor, the Killmonger episode, those were definitely the worst episodes. But overall, guys, I really surprisingly enjoyed the What If series. They explored a lot of great concepts and different What If scenarios. And I think, for the most part, some of them worked really well. Hello, girl, kick your ass. I... Talking of the Winter Soldier was my most anticipated of the shows announced because they're really exploring Sam Wilson and him having doubts of taking the Captain America shield in the name because of some racial storylines they brought in here and i thought that was a really important storyline to bring into the show the best parts of the show in my opinion were the racial storylines they brought in and john walker now john walker is a hated character i get why people hate this character but i thought wyatt russell nailed this role john walker you're supposed to hate him and i hated him too but i just thought he was a very fascinating character to watch you seeing him 
like kill that dude with the shield was really brutal and awesome. And I thought Anthony Mackie was great as Sam Wilson. Him becoming Captain America was the best part. Sebastian Stan as Bucky's great. But what doesn't work about Falcon and Winter Soldier? The Flag Smashers. If they weren't in this show, this would be my favorite Marvel show. Like Falcon and Winter Soldier is an important story about how we deal with racism and how we deal with taking on a name that's impossible to take on. So yes, Falcon and the Winter Soldier, I definitely enjoyed it, but it is a flawed show. WandaVision, WandaVision. I loved WandaVision, like the first half of it. Elizabeth Olsen, she deserves an Emmy Award. Like she got re nominated recently, give her that award because she is amazing in this show. And so is Paul Bettany. They took Vision, who I enjoyed in the first half, but they really haven't done much with Vision since then. But here, they made Vision funny. I really enjoyed Vision in here. But it really, the world of Westview, the way they filmed this entire show was great. The black and white and the colored sequences. I enjoyed Darcy in here. Jimmy Woo was awesome. And just seeing the different aspects of WandaVision. It focuses on sitcoms as well as Wanda and her going crazy and just completely taking advantage of this town and seeing her become a villain in some shows. I'm excited to see what they do in Multiverse of Madness and where they go with Wanda and her dark powers. We gotta talk Agatha Harkness, guys. It was Agatha all along. Like, Catherine Hahn was awesome in here. I loved WandaVision. The finale was not perfect. It did get kind of flawed towards the end of the show, but overall, WandaVision was a banger. Easily number one, no Marvel show topped this show this year, and that is Loki. Loki rocks, dude. This show fucking rocks. Like, the first episode was a banger. The second episode was even better. The third one was the only episode I didn't love. But the rest of the episodes, awesome. Four, five, and six. They brought in Mobius, played by Owen Wilson. Wow. Actually, maybe I shouldn't give it a perfect score, because... Owen Wilson's Mobius didn't say wow once in the show, but regardless, I loved Mobius in here. I loved uh, B-15. I thought she was great. Oh my god, Jonathan Majors, him walking out as Kang the Conqueror. Well, not really Kang, but he who remains. Like, that was what I wanted, to see Kang's first appearance in the MCU. Like, it was awesome. So yes, overall guys, I love Loki. This was easily my favorite of the MCU shows this year. There you have it guys, that was my ranking for all five Marvel Disney Plus shows. What's your guys ranking? I'd be curious to know in the comments. Enjoy the holidays, spend all the time with your family, and be safe as always. Thank you guys so much for watching. All my social media links are in the description below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!